how to find the place value of a number. First, make sure your notes for place value and your place value chart are on your table or desk. Also, remember to follow the steps. If you follow the steps of your notes, you can solve any math problem. Let's look at example number one. Find the place value of the number nine. Step one, find the decimal. Hmm, there is no decimal. No decimal. Write the decimal at the end of the number. Find the end of the number and put the decimal. Step two, put a line under the target number. The, question, the, the problem said, find the place value of the nine. The nine is my target number. Three, put your finger on the decimal. Four, starting at the decimal count to the left the number of spots to get to the target number. One, two, three, four. Using my place value chart, I'm going to put my finger on the decimal and I'm going to start at the decimal and count to the left the number of spots that I counted. One, two, three, four. The spot I landed on is my place value. The answer is thousands. Let's try another problem. Example two. Find the place value of the three. Step one, find the decimal. Again, there's no decimal. Step two, put a lot, um, no decimal means I write a decimal at the end of the number. Step two, put a line under the target number. The problem said find the place value of the three. My target number is the three. Step Three, put a finger on the decimal. Step four, starting at the decimal, count to the left the number of spots to get to the target number. One, two, three, four. Four spots. Now using my place value chart, I'm going to put my finger on the decimal of the place value chart and count starting at the decimal, count to the left the number of spots that I counted. One, two, three, four. The spot I landed on is my place value. It's thousands again. And that's how you find the place value of a number.